What is going on guys? Welcome back to the game with Gary Channel where today we are talking about all the secret changes Fortnite made with the most recent update. Of course, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell to get notified with every single update because I'm keeping you up to date with all the new patches, secrets, information, news, and of course, gameplay because your boy's a semi-pro player. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So as you can tell, I have Fortnite Battle Royale open right now. And if I go to my item shop, there's something pretty awesome. And if you guys don't know about this, a super awesome update Fortnite made to support creators like myself. On the bottom right, there's a tab called Supporter Creator. And if you go ahead and type in my name, Gaming with Gary, Fortnite rewards me for you being my fan, which is super awesome. So let's say you go over to the store and you buy 10,000 V-Bucks. Well, guess what, dudes? Those $100 you spend, $5 of that 100 goes to me. 95 goes to Epic. It's a really good opportunity for you guys to support me and the content if you love what I do here on the channel on top of that anything you get in the in your battle pass like v bucks or if you buy your battle pass or you or you buy a, a, a skin i get a credit of those purchases five percent of all purchases made on the item shop or v bucks made i also get some so if you want to support me or your favorite content creator this is one of the coolest updates and secrets fortnite added to their game that not many people know about and i am so happy to share this information with you guys because it's so awesome next change is a little bit of a weird one but it's one that many of you guys may or may not know about as you guys know loot lake has changed over the course of the last few weeks loot lake isn't the same lake we've all come to love and of course the floating island has been moving but loot lake is no longer loot lake and i don't know how they could do this to us dudes loot lake is now called leaky lake that's right they renamed loot lake to leaky lake and i want to know how you guys feel about that i i was a little bit like man that's that's my loot lake now it's now it's my leaky lake i was like i was really ah uh, man let me know in the comment section do you like the new name leaky lake i'm not a big fan Coming in at number three, we got another secret that many of you guys may or may not know, and it's a pretty cool thing with the Skull Trooper. By the time this video goes out, the Skull Trooper will have been out of the shop, but I have mentioned it in multiple streams and in so many commentaries that the Skull Trooper is a skin you want to get. Why is the Skull Trooper a skin you want to get? It's for two reasons. One, it's the it's one of the cheapest uh, epic skins you can get with the most amazing back bling you can pick up. As you guys know, the Skull Trooper Trooper has a challenge and it's the ghost portal challenge. I'm actually almost done with mine. I just got to complete daily challenges, which is crazy because that means I've played 50 matches. Oh my God. I am. That is sad. But regardless, I think this is one of the coolest back blings to go ahead and be introduced and you can get it from a challenge. And on top of that, it has a different style with the styles. The most recent skins of the skull trooper also have different styles, which I'm grouping into this third point of secrets. You may not know is that the skull trooper has three different styles. That you can choose from now of course if you have the skull trooper you're like garrett i don't have three styles why don't i have three styles well that's because if you don't have this style it's because you didn't have the skull trooper when it came out last year this style only goes to those who own skull trooper last year pretty freaking cool dudes coming in at number four is the floating island as you guys know the floating island has been moving all across the map and it's been lifting these runes off the ground and it's been sucking the energy out of the runes to the cube. Now, we don't know exactly what this cube is doing, but I have reason to believe that it might be tied to the ghost portal that we're getting on our back blings very soon if you own the Skull Trooper skin. Now, I quickly want to let you guys listen to the very weird noises that come from this area. I'm going to shut up now and you just listen. You hear that? Now, clearly there's a lot of things happening here at the house. I mean, this house is getting consumed by this cube and it's really loud. Like, dude, it's creepy. It's creepy, but that's not the only thing. As many of you guys know, this house is being consumed by the cube. Something really weird is happening here. And as you can see, something is forming. These cubes are coming into a shape and dudes, I have reason to believe we might be getting a ghost portal. Check this out. Just doing a little bit of home remodeling here, guys. One second. Perfect. As you guys can see, this thing is forming something. Now, we don't know exactly what this thing is, but there's rumors in the community it might be a ghost portal. 
Now, what does that even mean? I have no freaking clue, but I wanted to show you guys in this most recent update, this thing's growing and it's growing a lot. So that's my number four. Next up, we're flying over to Paradise Palm for our number five spot and cool things and secret changes made to the map that you may not be aware about. And in Paradise Palms, dudes, let me tell you, we got something I never thought we would get. Wacky Inflatable Tube or Flamas. That's right. We got freaking lava inflatable tube whaling flank. I would have never, I would have never in a million years thought this would be a thing, but it's, it's a thing. It's a, it's really a thing. And not only that, a lot of areas here in paradise have been getting a Halloween transformation. I covered a video about a week and a half ago about all the changes coming to different areas of the map with the Halloween theme stuff. But Paradise Palms is having a huge makeover, dudes. Like there's like a lot of houses that have been like redone for Halloween. Look at this. Look at this guy's house. Look at this. Like this guy's house is ready for Halloween. Now I mentioned that in my original video that we can expect a lot of these houses to have the full transformation come uh, closer to Halloween. Dude, we're only about 15 days away. So the closer and closer we get to Halloween, the more and more Halloween themes we'll see across all areas of the map, including places probably like Tilted Towers, Retail Row, and so many more. So if you guys think this is a really cool addition, let me know in the comments because I think it's a, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's super freaking cool. I like this a lot. I, I really do. I want. Can we can we break it? Was it me? Was it me? The next secret update we got is a little bit of a, I would say more lame one, one that you may not be super excited about, but Porta Fortresses are back. Now for a while, Porta Fortresses were vaulted due to an issue they were causing to the game, but they're back in this most recent update, which is pretty freaking cool. And on top of that, they have gone ahead and reduced the availability of Porta Fortresses from finding them at, at a 2% chance, like 2.4% chance to now a 1.83% chance, which is a pretty big drop especially because they're pretty rare already. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like Portal Fortress? I, I personally think they're pretty cool, especially in LTMs. But in a regular game, eh. the last point is going to be all about loot changes that you guys may not be aware about. Now, as you guys may know, we recently had the quad launcher ad. If you guys have not seen gameplay for that on screen right now, you guys can see some crazy quad launcher shenanigans with me and my friends. I uploaded two videos the other day with the quad launcher. It's super fun. It fires up to four lobbed rockets it shoots like the grenade launcher but in rocket form but that is not what this last point's about it's actually about the changes made to different items in the game for their rarity so uh the common pistol drop chance was reduced from 5.8 percent to 5.4 percent we have the epic uh bolt action sniper rifle drop chance increased so you have a better chance of finding the epic uh, bolty from 0.33% to 0.42%. Then they decreased the semi-auto sniper rarity from 0.92 to 0.71. They increased the heavy epic sniper rifle from 0.33% to 0.4%. They also increased the legendary heavy sniper from 0.07 to 0.13. That's pretty good. They decreased the rare grenade launcher drop chance from 1.45 to just 0.99, which is a huge drop. That's that's a big drop. But they also increased the epic launcher, rocket launcher. They increased the legendary rocket launcher, the epic guided missile, and they increased the legendary guided missile. So they reduced the rare grenade launcher, but increased every other explosive. So explosives this update are a huge thing. I don't know why, but explosives are a big deal. They did not change uh, grenades or uh, plungers or clingers. So don't worry about that. But they didn't increase all the weapon explosive types, which is pretty crazy. So to wrap this video up, I want to quickly say thank you to all you awesome viewers. It takes time out of your days every single day to hang out with me here on the Game with Gary channel where I only upload Fortnite and you guys love the content I upload. Of course, if you guys have not dropped the video like and you came this far in the video, show me that love and drop the video like. It just lets me know you guys enjoy this type of content and want to see more. And I want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart and i will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video because there are some crazy updates happening today i actually might even upload another video today so be on the lookout for that i love you dudes i'll catch you tomorrow with a brand new video or later today be on the lookout have notifications on i'll see you soon later guys